Hey guys, so Leonard here, back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Infected King Shazam from, I want to say, the DC Death Metal comic, right? Got this guy the other day, as at the time this video is being posted, and I was pretty excited, you know? It's fairly new release, I don't think a lot of people have this yet. I don't think, I also don't know... And uh, to my understanding, the is it Demon Knights Etrigan is supposed to be uh, shipping with this guy. So that's exciting, right? So getting into it, uh, as far as accessories go, he comes with an alternate set of hands for each arm. Which is pretty cool. And he also comes with... An extra right arm. How about that? Yeah. Um, as you can see, this arm is not attached to the figure. A, because it looks absolutely ridiculous. But B, because it doesn't even fit on the left shoulder peg. It just kind of falls out. And uh, actually... Doing a little bit more uh, research here. I got two right hands. So I didn't even get the alternate hands. <laughs> uh, the stuff you know while you're doing videos. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, that happened. And uh, to say I'm uh, slightly annoyed is a massive understatement. Because let's just say I tried to uh, reconcile things with uh, somebody I used to know. And uh, I figured, hey, maybe I'll have some good karma out of that. I know it doesn't work on materialistic things, but, you know, I don't have a whole lot for it to work on. Like, hey, maybe my dad's going out later. We'll find something good. And he did. Only this is crap, because it has not only two right arms, but two right fists. The only left part I have is this hand. <laughs> are, you, are you joking? Like, this is both annoying and hilarious, because they shoved the left hand on what is clearly the right arm, and shoved the right arm what is clearly the left shoulder even though it barely even fits and it just kind of falls off i know they make a lot of these right they make enough to you know miss some stuff here and there but you're not even trying to fool me with this like at least if you're gonna screw it up like if it's gonna be like two of the same part make sure it fits <laughs> you know like, are you actually kidding me with this? I don't know. That's a joke. And let's just talk about my Target for a second. Because they're notorious for putting out stuff that people returned even when it's been opened and it's, well, for lack of a better term, broken. And uh, this goes back to about when the Marvel Legends Thor Ragnarok 2-pack with Thor and Valkyrie came out. Uh, my dad bought one, and it had what looked to be some kind of Transformers or Power Rangers sword in it, and the Cosmic Spider-Man head was on the Thor figure. He thought it was a variant. I told him, no, someone figure swapped it and returned it, but at least that was marked down to, what, 12 bucks. That never hung out at full price. The following year, or later that year, I forget when that was, the Colossus and Juggernaut 2-pack for the 80th anniversary of marvel came out and it was the first time i had seen it in the store but something looked a little off someone had swapped the jim lee style colossus out for the colossus from the warlock wave they stuck it on the shelf for full price even though the box was totaled it didn't have any of the extra parts in it other than the ones that came with juggernaut i believe and it had the wrong colossus in it and we told them hey this isn't the right figure. Somebody returned this. And the guy we talked to took it. 
and literally a week later it was back out on the shelf for full price i think they finally marked it down but we told them like two three times that something was wrong before they actually did anything about it um and then let's go to some stuff i bought and returned i bought the mattel multiverse poison ivy looked like the animated one tried to move the leg on that thing it almost broke clean off it just sheared almost clean off i say almost because it was still attached when i returned it part of me thinks i should just broke the dang thing off and maybe they wouldn't have put it back on the shelf but literally a week later there sits a poison ivy on the shelf that had been cut open coincidence i don't think so let's fast forward to uh before this global pandemic started i bought the cosmic ghost rider and his foot broke off right because they the detents on those ankles are just insane which is weird because a lot of figures that use those parts they're not that tight but on him they were super tight and the i want to say left foot broke off mine returned it to target got a new one the same day actually and went back a week later and there it sits on the shelf with the foot rattling in the box so um fast forward to now i get the shazam i open it from the bottom that's how i always open stuff i open it from the bottom and uh after i open it and realize hey i got totally freaking screwed over i look at the top of the box or i went to put the um uh, the shell and the cardboard back in the box and look at this the top was cut this is not an error this was clearly taped the top was cut on this so my stupid target once again i'm not saying they did but it's awfully suspicious it's awfully suspicious you know what? i'm gonna say they did because i'm mad <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> a uh, good comedian john caparulo would say uh they freaking put out another return figure that was uh not even close to up to par not like are you kidding me my store i i hate comparing other stores to mine because it's a second hand store but i guess mine's just stricter when it comes to just everything <laughs> um my store would have a conniption if this happened you know um i guess quality's just gone the way to the wayside but yeah this was clearly cut there's no denying that it wasn't cut when they opened the case because of this thing it's in the way um unless their knife is like a foot long or something a long knife which i doubt it because mine isn't it's a simple box cutter you don't need a freaking craven the hunter knife to cut a box open that has uh, merchandise in it although sometimes it can be a little tough this was not cut by an employee this was cut by somebody who bought it realized it had two left arms and two left fists apparently or two right arms and two right fists and uh, they returned it and stupid target put it back on the shelf so you know what screw you target uh for multiple reasons selling janky crap not having my spawn crap and then yeah not having crap for over a month in general so you know what you suck you suck <laughs> ah <laughs> so yeah there we go and uh, another thing to note there is that global pandemic going on right now and you know i'm not as worried about it as some people are but you know you it's an open thing and we don't know what that person's health is you know we don't know if they were sick or healthy or what but i i wouldn't have put this back on the shelf just because it was open i would have waited a little bit to put it back and i can tell this was probably just received this past week because of how new it is and uh, they stuck it back out anyway so you know what screw you target you suck um you lame and uh, screw you, quality control, for uh, always finding your way into my house instead of somebody who gets freaking review samples, because that's just BS. And uh, screw you, people who hold on to past crap, even though it's over two years old. And screw you, Karma, for being non-existent. <laughs>
Yeah. You just you're made up like uh, Bigfoot and aliens and vampires and reptile people. We'll throw that in there too. So back to the review. Um, this guy does have a collectible trading card, but I'm not taking it out because uh, I'm returning that thing, and I'm gonna make sure they know it's jacked up, or the customers know it's jacked up because I can't just send this to McFarland because they don't do that. Um, if they did, I probably would just to avoid stupid Target putting it back on the shelf like a ding dong again. But uh, there's the base. Crap. Because, uh, well, that's not his. But looking at the figure, what I have of it, um, it's cool. I'm not the biggest Shazam fan. Uh, I did like the movie. And I have liked uh, what I've seen of him in the cartoons and whatnot. There was a animated movie that was pretty good. This is a cool-looking Shazam. It's probably one of the coolest Shazams I've ever seen, but, you know, it sucks because of uh, that. So, you know, he's got this hood going on, which I think that's something they introduced in the New 52, right? And then he's got the furry cape. And uh, some people think this is reused from Superman and King Robin, or the Robin King. I don't know, because it's got these little shoulder pad pieces. I'd have to look at my Robin King, which I'm not even going to bother pulling out any size comparisons for this video, because it's just not worth my time. When I get one that's not crap, I might do that, but, you know, until then. <laughs> but articulation on this guy, he's got an interesting uh, head joint. It's just a ball peg in the neck, and uh, his hood kind of moves around. It's like the Asriel from... Um, what is it, White Knight and the Templar one they re-released released recently? It doesn't have a ton of up and down, but I think you can get it if you push this back. You get a little bit. It's not a ton. It's freaky looking face on that guy. Look at that. <laughs> He's got shoulders that go in and out, which what is up with the shoulders on McFarland stuff lately? They're kind of loose. This one's not too bad. This one's kind of loose. Uh, he does have good forward and back, considering he's got this big fur cape going on. Uh, you can rotate it as well. He's got a bicep swivel, double joint at the elbow. Arm can bend up all the way. And uh, then he's got the ball hinges on his wrists here. You can move them all around. It's got a decent diaphragm joint, too. Actually, the, the wrists pop off pretty easy. Let's see if that other one fits better. we got time to kill. Because I got two of the same. All right, that seems to, wow. That's a tighter fit, for sure. Yeah, that's a tighter fit. He's got some knuckle dusters too, which is kind of cool. Um, but he's got a lot of torso movement. Not a lot of crunch still, but he can freaking arc back pretty far. Um, it does rotate. I will say this was really stiff out of package, so be careful with that. And then, uh, yeah, you can tilt side to side. Hips kick forward. They do go out because of the, um, the crotch towel there. Uh, they do move in and out. He does have a thigh cut in there, but it's doesn't do a lot. But it is there. Double joint at the knee. Bend it up all the way. Hinge at the foot with rotation, rocker, and uh, actually nice tight toe hinges on this guy. They did one thing right, it was that. But, uh, yeah. Really sucks, man. This is a cool figure, but, um, you know. Can't even peg the freaking arm I have on. So, it's it's crap. It's pretty crap. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I hope I can hear uh, back from McFarland Toys on this soon. I already contacted them. 
But, uh, you know, it took him forever to get back to me on Noob Cybot, who had more issues. But this guy, this guy's got not as many, but they're pretty much just as bad, I'll say. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let's pop this out, and we'll put the other fist hand on this side. So there. Now you know it's jacked up because you got two fist hands and they're both the same. <clears throat> Thought I at least got all the hands. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So with that being said, we'll uh, do some size comparisons with the two regulars real quick. And as promised, here he is with our two regulars. We have the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn. Which, he would probably go good with Spawn, but uh, until he has a left arm, that ain't gonna happen. So, with that being said, time to wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and while I'm sure this is a pretty sweet figure when you get it all in the box, that is, I wouldn't know, because, well, if you haven't noticed, I didn't get it all in the box. And that really freaking sucks. So, anyone who's going shopping around the Targets in the upstate New York area north of albany not just outside of new york city okay double check the uh infected king shazams before you pick it up if the box is cut on the top and the bottom don't buy it because it's the one i'm most likely gonna return because uh there really ain't no point to keeping this because there's not enough here to warrant keeping it if it was just missing a hand or if it had all the hands and only had like a part of the arm was wrong and I got one with the other part. I could have made two or something. You know, it's not one of those situations. It's just not. Unless someone has the hand I don't have and the arm, this is pretty much junk. And that sucks because, to be honest with you, looking back on it this past year, I've had more quality control issues with McFarlane stuff than I have with uh, Hasbro stuff, I believe. And the Hasbro stuff spans over multiple lines. McFarlane, I've had, what, two DC mishaps now. Uh, my Mandarin spawn, the first one, the blue one. And then the uh, Noob Cybot, which was actually fixable. I just had to buckle down and do it. But, um, yeah, this is crap. I expect better from this company, to be honest with you. Because it's run by Todd McFarlane, who's a stickler for that type of thing. So I don't know how this freaking slid past anybody. I mean, I'm legally blind, and I could tell that's the freaking right arm, you schmuck. So, yeah, uh, especially when it doesn't even fit on the freaking shoulder. So with that being said, I would recommend you pick this up, but make sure yours isn't a piece of crap. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review. As negative as it is. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, like this video, if possible, and hit that subscribe button. And the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more positive reviews to the channel. Can't really say that's going to be what's happening tomorrow because it's Fat Thor from the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga. And it's just... Ah! We need something good on this freaking channel. Like, we just started the week off with the War for Cybertron Kingdom Scorp knock. And now we're just going... <laughs> Like, the balloon is deflating, man, and that sucks. I don't like that. I like to keep things relatively positive while providing some warranted criticism, some positive criticism, constructive criticism, but this is just unacceptable, inexcusable, and a big fat freaking joke. Like, if you're gonna put a messed up thing out there, one part, not four <laughs> you know but as always we got to show that algorithm who's boss right punch it in the freaking throat and don't forget to hit me up on instagram at overlord productions and leave a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think of my luck with figures <laughs> and whether you love this figure want this figure or are gonna pass on this figure i mean if you're into the death metal stuff, you ought to pick it up. 
I don't believe this is a across the board QC issue. It's just some wacky crap that happened with mine. The fact it's got two right fists is pretty hilarious. And the only set of hands it has is the grip hands. So yeah, I, I really don't know how this got by. And you know, come to think of it, all the shipping delays, because there's a lack of truck drivers and a lack of trucks carting stuff out, and the fact that the ports are backed up, I think there's, what, 50 ships waiting to come in? There's a lot, okay, with I don't know how much freight on them. That's just the number of ships. That doesn't, I don't know how big they are. I don't know how much freight they got. But you would think they would stop sending stuff over for like a month and, you know, take some time to check the QC. Because it ain't going to make it into the ports on time anyways, so just make sure it's up to par. I mean, yeah, there, there's going to be stuff that gets by, but something like this probably wouldn't. <laughs> like, let's be real here. But uh, as always, keep the comments civil because the world sucks enough as it is, especially when you get some janky crap like this after, God, a month of your target just straight up sucking, and you know what? They still suck. They still don't have my spawn crap. And, you know, they still don't have much of anything new. And the stuff they do get new is messed up. So there you go. And then when people return it, they put it back on the shelf. When it's jacked up. God forbid if it was just open, you know. Ah, boy. So with that being said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Maybe I'll have a better review going up on Wednesday. We'll see. You fucker! You fucker! Fucking bitch! I don't think I like your attitude. You fucker!